Right, so good afternoon everyone. Um, someone on my channel has just asked me uh, to quickly show um, him, and I thought I might as well show others while I'm here, um, how to actually load some 120 film into my Yashica 24. I'm going away for a little trip uh, this week, so um, it's something I need to do, so I thought I might as well um, film it. I've shown it in various um, degrees in some previous videos where I've used this camera, but I've just kind of sped through that and uh, not really dwelled on how I actually go about it. So I thought I'd do it in a little bit slow time this time uh, to help show others with this particular camera or with other similar cameras how to actually load the film. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously open it up. So at the bottom, got switch the the dial to open and that pops the back off like so so if I just set it down a little bit so I've already got a spare spindle in the camera and this is to take up the kind of exposed uh, film so this slots in here like so there we go it's a contradiction this camera really because it says you 22 film only yet if you look down here it's got the 220 film start mark which is down here but then also on the side here I'm not sure whether you can kind of see that it actually also says 120 film start mark so and that's the reason why I bought this camera. It was a good price and um, it's clear to me and from doing a bit of research on the internet that you can indeed use 120 film in this camera and I have done and got some really good results. But as I've probably said in previous videos, um, the fact that I used a lab box to develop this, um, I don't always get the first exposure outright because you've got to kind of leave a bit of film out of the lab box in order to clip on the kind of the the thing which then allows you to to wind the film um, around the reel and um, to get around that I'm simply just gonna duplicate the first kind of exposure just I don't want to lose that first exposure so I'm happy just to well, I say I don't want to lose I don't want to lose the first composition I take so I'm happy just to accept that I'm only going to get 11 exposures 11 6x6 six six exposures um, out of a roll of 120 film. I have tried a number of different ways now to um, try and get 12 out of this camera but I haven't really been that successful. My last attempt this time I'm just gonna um, wind it on a little bit past the start mark um, to see whether that makes any difference. Probably probably up to about here um, but, but we'll see how we go. Right so what we do is Take the film out. What this camera is quite good as well is as soon as you open the back and um, the counter on the side uh, resets itself to S so start. So that will become clear in a minute. So all right, so let's get the film ready. And then what you do is you basically plug it into this bottom part here. So again, this pulls out like so. Yeah, right, so that clips in like so. so that's and then you just basically Yes, yeah, so that's free turning now. So you basically pull this up. Right, so feed this into the slot of this reel sp spindle. And you've got a nice pin here to, to make sure that you keep the, the film in the right place. So then you just wind it, start reading. There we go, it started to reel. And then just try and keep some pressure to keep the tension on. So the arrow will start to appear now and I need to get it to just go past the start mark a little bit. But for all you that are developing it via other methods like Patterson tanks, 
then just stop it when you get to the 120 star mark. So let's carry on winding. Here we go, here's the arrow. So then I'm just gonna wind it to there. Just for my purposes, because of the struggles I have in my lab box. So, right, so that's all loaded now. So let's close the lid. And switch that back to the closed position. Then it's a case of uh, winding the lever on this side clockwise until the camera gets to its starting position. There we go, it's locked. So it's in one. So then now you just bring it back and cock it. And there we go. The camera is all loaded with film and ready ready to shoot and then obviously you just need to be mindful that you don't knock the shutter and then also one thing you need to do as well is you need to set um, in the top corner the ISO of the film and this particular film Ilford FP4 Plus is actually a 125 ISO film but because my camera only goes to either 80 and then it goes to 160 I've decided I'm gonna actually pull this film back to 80 but develop it as if it was 125 just to see what the results are going to be like so there we go all loaded in and ready to go so I hope you found that uh, little short video uh, useful if there's any questions you want to ask then fire away so thanks for watching Bye for now.